uh, we've been asking the others uh, in terminating our interviews uh, how they see the Dominican life today and its relevance to needs, and especially we've been using the exercise of saying if a young man were to come to you, as you heard me ask Mark, and express uh, interest in the Dominicans and want to know more about it, what would be some of the features of our life that you would point out as uh, you've been doing it through the, yes, the entire uh, yes. statement? But I have no uh, no doubts that it is a you know it's, it is an ideal life. Now, of course, I address it from the side of the person who has been almost exclusively in intellectual pursuits ever mm -hmm. since my ordination. I think my young dad year, I was uh, a curate during the summer at St. Vincent Ferris in New York, mm -hmm. and I've never had any parish duty since then, and I've never been on the retreat band, I've never been in missions and things like that. Uh, as a teacher, you're called on for special occasion preaching and things like that, but uh, I, I don't think that my remarks would be that I'd be able to do justice to the variety of Dominican life. Uh, mm -hmm. And of course, I've never been in the foreign missions uh, and I've not been able to visit them. Uh, for anyone who, though, who would be seriously interested in the intellectual life, I think I can say that uh, if they wanted to commit their life to the order, that the order would amply repay the time they would give mm -hmm. to, that, to it and that they would have opportunities uh, that are unequaled any place, you know, in any other order. Now, when I say that, I've done a lot of work on the Jesuits recently, uh, I, and I, I spent a fair amount of time visiting with them and working in their archives because of my work on the Galileo thing. I do think we have a very different spirit from the members of the Society of Jesus, uh, although they have a, a marvelous tradition and scholarship too, and I mm -hmm. want to underplay it. What we do have, though, which I find uh, is, is distinctive, we have the ability to live a community life, to have, to share facilities, uh, particularly in this house, to have an excellent library, to have uh, a chapel, a refectory, where some of my colleagues who have visited me here were not Catholics, say, my, my goodness, he said, mm -hmm. how can you have all of your needs taken care of, it is quite and you don't life. have to do anything, he <laughs> said, you know, and of course they know nothing about the spiritual life, That's right. the advantage of the liturgy, That's right. the choral office. Now, I have all my life been in houses of studies. Uh, for many, that would be regarded as a, as a penance, and in some ways it is, because we're, we're not the best off, you know, as far as possessions, although in this house we do extremely well. Uh, now, I think, uh, but you do have contact with young people who are extremely idealistic, well-motivated. Uh, my experience, you know, in recent years, fine prayers, you know, much more, mm -hmm. I think, contemplatively oriented than we were. We were very task-oriented when we first came into the order, mm -hmm. and we did, we did it all, you know, but we did it w w without a sense of getting a lot uh, mm -hmm. out of our prayer life, whereas I think our, our students nowadays are, are very uh, conscious of how important their prayer life is. Mm -hmm. And the ambience here, I think we have a, a beautiful liturgy, you know, varied, varied, suited to mm -hmm. the needs of the day. Uh, so there's no aspect of a person's life that would, would, would be neglected or that would be deficient. Uh, if you, you know, you do have to have a certain affective life which is given in prayer. That's right. Uh, you do, the needs of the body have to be taken care of the needs of the mind, uh, certainly. Uh, and there is, is a desperate need. Uh, the thing that uh, I've talked with the Master of the Order about this, he said, you know, Gus, we don't have to worry about the next year or two, uh, uh, because those things are pretty much under control. And we don't have to worry about the very long run, because we won't be around to, to do anything to influence it. But we do have to be worried about what's going to happen within the next 10 or 20 years. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, we know that there is a, that a gap is going to open up, and there is a, a, a serious need mm -hmm. for people who realize that, they, that there is a good thing here, mm -hmm. and, and there will be opportunities for them. You know, I mean, like talking about the, the ways in which uh, uh, a, a priest in the New York diocese would have to wait until he was a priest That's for right. 30 years before he got a parish. Huh? That's right. Well, the same thing is true uh, in, in the intellectual life. I mean. Mm -hmm. the, 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 you might say the time is ripe for people who have the ability 
to assume leadership. Mm -hmm. And the facilities are all in place. And mm -hmm. we've, had, we've got houses all over the world, very well respected usually, contacts in the best universities. And now I'm talking to those who have a, a serious interest in that ty type of life. That's right. That mm -hmm. it would be, uh, that mm -hmm. the time was never better. All right. You right. know, the, uh, the explosion of the order in the first period came from the mature scholars of the universities who flocked into the order. Okay. And I, I'm pleased to hear you say this because I have been arguing that we should be thinking not so much of the younger, well, we should be thinking of the proven scholars, uh -huh. and especially in a situation where the market for teaching is getting less and less, and yet yeah. the desire that we should really be trying to create the uh, yeah. possibilities of these persons uh, right. becoming involved without going through a kind of Boy Scout ritual. That's right. And uh, if we did, and we, so I think we forced too many people go through the same mold. The other thing you might say, you know, talking about the matter that Father, Far Father uh, Heath was mentioning, uh, in that year, in those years when we had so many people teaching, uh, in women's colleges, a lot of it was prompted by Walter Farrell. You probably mm -hmm. know. I mean, it mm -hmm. was the, the the adage was, "Have Summa, will teach." And yes. he he was a great man. You know, the companions of the Summa, send them out. Uh, people had ready-made jobs. Mm -hmm. There were no tenure problems. There That's were right. no search committees and things. Nowadays, you it's you don't just process. walk into a position and. Uh, you have to seriously want it, and you have to be qualified, publish. You yes. have to write and do scholarly yes. work. And there is a problem that the, the, that the tension in the Dominican life uh, is such. You know, can you do apostolic work, and can you do the contemplative life, the work mm -hmm. of a serious scholar, and publish too? Uh, not everybody can do it, mm -hmm. but I don't think everybody is is so is called for the Dominican vocation. You That's know? right. That I think that it is a special vocation. Uh, it's one that that. Uh, calls for people who are mm -hmm. uh, some, you know, supermen to a, to a degree. Uh, and I, 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 don't, I don't think that we, mm -hmm. that we should enter the marketplace and That's say, right. well, this life is for anyone. No, it I isn't. Oh, no. It's a disaster it's if you do yeah. for yourself. Yeah. Gus, this is a marvelous statement. If we ever get back here with our video equipment again, I'd love to have you sit down sometime and just talk about your research in Galileo. You, you, would, you would have the most marvelous uh, hour and a half uh, tape to for people to listen to and the rest. So we're going to have that in the back of our agenda mm -hmm. because that really triggers me when you start to go into that. And there's so many other things we'd love to go into too, but uh, we have to liberate you now. But this, this, is, this has been a marvelous statement. And uh, I think we're going to get all kinds of mileage out of this. So Thanks Gus, very much. thank you very much and oh. stay healthy. It's stay my pleasure. Healthy. Well, that's up yeah. to God. That's in God's hands. But I have no, no worries at, at the moment. Gavin, uh, any thoughts at the end of this? Uh, he's absorbing this all. He, is, he yeah. loves the science. And, uh, I'd certainly like to hear more about, uh, well. about the little rascal. The little <laughs> 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 well, he'll be reading him now. He, in fact, he'll be running down your writings and, oh, and very good. Uh, very good. be working on that as but, you well. Know, I, I had a funny uh, odyssey in a certain way. I mean, I went from electrical engineering, you might say, to physics and then to philosophy, theology, then history, you know. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I'm a professor of history. I've never taken a course in college course level course in history in my life, which yeah. is a funny thing, you know. But if you do the work... But you've been working on it all your you life. Work, you work That's on right. it. It's really interesting. That's right. But uh, it, uh, it, uh, it's a very interesting life. And, and the, uh, the only thing, that, uh, you, and there's the, the time you invest in study, you know, it really is, it, it pays off handsomely. Comes back and fold. And for me, you know, looking back those eight years, I might mm -hmm. say, when I, between the Navy and ordination, or seven years. Huh? Uh, Priceless. I and, think and so. And laying the foundation. Yeah. Now, it's taken a long time to, for, it, for it to mature and to find the platform. Mm-hmm. Where it would be usable, but and then of course, how, you know, that is the problem in our present day: how you market what you do. That's doing. right. Uh, 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 but, but you can look back and realize if those, if that foundation were not there, it would be a different. Uh, Gus Wallace doing a, yeah. something in this area, but not in the same way. Yeah. Yeah. Gus, stay healthy. Thank you.